Hello and welcome to Bay of Fundy Fortunes. My name is Natalie. I'm an empath, intuitive card reader, and a visionary as well. And it's smelling some good in here right now. That smudge smells fantastic. And also burning my intuitive candle from intuitivecandles.com. And the scent for that one is um, Enchanted Forest. So it's smelling very woodsy in here right now. If you're interested in that, um, they give you beautiful reveals when the wax melts down like these. There's a clear quartz. There's a um, two clear quartz and amethyst. They're beautiful. All kinds of beautiful reveals that come out of the candles. And they're 100% soy based. Just go to intuitivecandles.com if you are so inclined. Mm -mm -mm. All soy based. Very nice. So let's get into this. This is for the month of March 2018 for the sign of Leo the Lion. see what's up for Leo. We want to know the overall energy. Finances and wealth. Hearth, home, love. Your challenges for March and your message from Spirit. These are the things that we ask that Spirit bring forward. For any Leo viewing this reading. I will cut. All right, let's get to it. Your overall energy, Leo, the lions, for the month of March is the three of wands. And it is motivation. Your wealth and financial sector. The six of cups. And reflection. Your heart, your home, love and romance. The world. Regeneration. Your, whoa, really? Interesting. Your challenges for March is the Wheel of Fortune. And it's destiny. Yep, and sometimes we fight destiny. We really do. Oh, my. Uh-huh. Eight of Swords and Restriction is your message from Spirit. All right. Three of Wands, Motivation. It's usually a card of um, higher energy. It's a card of um, enthusiasm. Um, it's an energy that comes in that it, that it's full of all that. It's it's motivation. It's enthusiasm. It's inspiration. It's what's going to get your motor running, carry you through the month of March. It just brings it brings um, just enthusiasm to pretty much everything through the month of March for you. Um, seeing, I just heard seeing the leaf from the other side has brought this on. I don't know what that means for you. But it's a turning over a leaf to the other side, we'll say. Um, and where you were kind of complacent and ho-hum, no more. For the month of March, there's enthusiasm behind everything that you do. Um, in the area of love, it predicts new relationships for some. This is a general reading. Please remember that. So if none of this resonates with you, then there was no message here for you today. Click the channel and move on to another reader. Sorry, maybe next time. Um, the, this card also brings about wanting to celebrate, feeling celebratory feelings through the month, um, really working hard at staying on the positive end of things. There could be engagement announcements and wedding announcements, or you yourself could be getting married or engaged. This is also a very nice card when it comes to travel, the arts, and for some even competitive sports, if you're so inclined, you're so involved. A dynamic attitude is going to bring great results for you. So it's everything is for the month of March overall is going to be about your attitude, your your outlook, your take, your reflection. Um, everything's gonna it's going to to begin and end with you on how things turn out. It's all in your attitude. Um, but if you you have a dynamic, you can if you can change and 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 
kind of shuffle along and go with the flow, whichever way the flow goes, and be open to the new and different things, you should be okay. Um, Spirit is also bringing forth a message for you to say that if, look for unusual ways to solve any dilemmas um, that come your way. Don't try the same old tried and true, the same old, same old. Reach outside of that area. Sideways thinking, coloring outside the lines, outside the block, you know, this kind of a thing. Um, if you do, chances are you're going to meet with quicker success that way. Um, and especially when it comes to communications, keep an open mind. Um, be fair in your thoughts with other people. You, you'll you get your message across, but it, it starts with empathy as well. If you're totally open to the other person um, or people and just say, sure, I'm all ears. I'm not going to shut something down right off. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to listen to what people have to say. Where normally you'd be five miles ahead of them and already made your decision up. You're going to hold back a little bit in that department today. Um, the advice of the card, yes. Think laterally and try new ways to fire up communications and new ways to fire up your creativity. Your keywords are travel, relationships, freedom, openness, weddings, originality, success, the arts, and sports. And I'm hearing competitive sports for somebody viewing the reading. Um, it could be the closing off of a season that you're involved in. They're seasonal. Sports are usually seasonal, right? It could be that. Um, your six of cups in your finances and wealth. And it's all about reflection. And when I picked the card up, the first thing that came to mind that I heard was um, reflecting back on your money spending habits is what I'm getting from this card. And um, you're reflecting back saying, what have I done with my money in the past year? What have I done? to make to have it make a difference in my life in any way what was really needs what was really wants and what do i know the difference between the two you're reflecting back over the um, making wise financial decisions from here on out you're thinking about it um trying to find a system that works for you so you're not doing impulse buying you're not on the spot you know standing at the checkout and you got all this stuff for sale and those are impulse buys right you know a toilet plunger is not an impulse buy, right? That's something you go and search for, right? That's a need after all. If you're going after a plunger, you're not having a really good day. Okay. Um, the past sometimes comes back with this card as well. Um, the past actually comes back to life. Um, you're part of you. Excuse me. Part of you is wanting to slip back into the past into happier times, safer times, slower times, easier times. You may be feeling, especially financially, that maybe things are, are not easy like they used to be. They're not simple anymore. Um, I watched a video on Facebook today. I can't even remember the name of it, but I'm sure you guys will come across it for those of you that are there. And it was all about really putting out your perspectives in your life, you know, um, you need a job, 40 hours a week, at least, and then you get the job, and then you have to go out and you have to buy the car to get you to the job, but then you need a roof over your head, so you buy the home that sits empty all the time to drive the car to get to the job, and it's like, and then you, when are you home? When are you for you? When are you, you're, you're robotic. We become robots like ants in an ant farm. Um, and we don't explore our own passions. And this is, this is what you're yearning for. You're yearning for somebody out there is, is remembering what it felt like to be in the zone, in the creative zone. This card brings that back. Um, and you're hankering to maybe get back into it a little bit. Um, just to have that feeling of creating something is, is amazing. And you're yearning for it. Um, you could find yourself returning to a childhood place for some of you uh, in relationships at this time as well. 
as far as financially and your wealth goes in your life, wealth covers more than just money, really it does. Um, you're finding a sense of peace and security and comfort at this time. That's your main goal. And you're wondering, how can I make it even better? Um, without having to sacrifice any more hours in my day, because you're looking at the other part of life, the part of life, that the stuff that really matters. The advice of this card is to enjoy reconnecting to happier times from your past. They will energize you and entertain you and inspire you for the future. Sometimes we, you know, what I'm hearing here is the more things change, the more they stay the same. And you're looking for more of the same because of the changes. You want to go back and bring back some of the simpleness and the sameness. Um, because that's where you're, it's just like a full circle. You know, you work to get away from that and you've been away from that. And now you want to go back basically to the simplicity of the way life used to be. Um, your keywords are friendship and visitors, happiness, comfort, childhood, memories, perfection, protection, and play. All right. There's your goals, basically, is to have more you time, more me time, as they say. Your hearth and your home, <coughs> excuse me, is regeneration. It's a great card to fall into something, excuse me, that's so intimate. Um. And personal, really, is the family structure, right? This card brings about regeneration. It brings about renewal, finding success, celebrating achievements, um, the completion of a phase. Rewards might even be coming for all the work, the blood, the sweat, the tears, and the efforts you've put in to make this world a better place, to make yourself a better person, to make a better life for your family as well. Um, and it all begins at home, the hearth and the home, right? It all begins there. Um, some of you may be finalizing a house move at this time or the end of a very large, large project. Um, I don't know why my candle of spirit must be present. My candle's going crazy. That's strange. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay, so I moved it. It's a very large flame, very high. You guys can't really see that, can you? Look how big that flame is. That's crazy. And it was just fluttering like crazy a moment ago. I've never seen it do that before. Calm down. <laughs> um, anyway, so yeah. Somebody may be moving or finishing a very, very big project, such as building a new home. That could be in the cards for you as well. That's something that you've been working on. You're just seeing the end. You want to be moved in for summer. Or somebody that's moving wants to be moved and be settled in for the summer months that are, to, or, that are yet to come. And they are coming. We're in spring now. It's just the very birth of it. It's beautiful. Um, somebody could be renewing their vows as well. There's a relationship landmark that's coming up for some. I heard a memorial for somebody else. Sorry. Um, some opportunities could come up for you to travel as well. It could take the family and just go. Spring vacation? Yeah, why not? If you're single... You'll end up having romantic adventures on your vacation as well. Keep that in mind. Um, the advice is to celebrate what you have um, achieved. Embrace new opportunities. Embrace the foundation that you've managed to build within your family structure. It's all good at this time. It's beautiful. Everybody's getting along. Like I said, spring is coming. Promises summer is coming. Um, and, and money problems aren't really, really... Um, in the forefront right now. Um, you're going to be full of energy and motivation. You're going to be feeling like the world is your oyster, so says Tarot. Your keywords are success and completion, celebration, beginnings, travel motivations, and renewal. And now we are into your challenges for the month of March. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Come on already. What's going on? Not wanting to follow your destiny. 
came right off the minute the card came up. You're you're fighting against it. It's like I said not that long ago. Um, there's a train coming at me, and I can see it coming, and there's nothing I can do to stop it, right? But you fight it. You say, I don't want this. I don't want this. Um, and destiny's going, but it's coming at you anyway. And I'm saying, I don't care. I don't want it. And I, I don't know. I'm a believer that we have a lot of control over our own life and our own destiny. And that sometimes destiny is so in our face that we can smell it. And maybe part of us doesn't want to. And we go the other way. Let the chips fall where they may. And that seems to be what's going on here for somebody here. You, you're fighting it. Destiny's trying to slide in and push you in a certain direction. And you're bucking it all the way. Because you don't want the change. You don't want that. Um, usually when this card shows up, it brings a huge boost to your life. And, and, and the universe is telling you, listen. Just let yourself be led. Put your arms down. Stop pushing away and pushing off. Put your arms down at your side. Take a deep breath. Become relaxed. Let destiny take you where you're supposed to be. Okay. Um, this is usually a card of optimism and good luck as well. Um, opportunities that come your way could turn into great decisions if you think clearly and, and, um, just allow the great changes to come into your life that are trying to come in. You've got to be open to that. You have to receive that, but you have to believe it before anything else. That changes are coming, and they're good changes. Um, and you're, you're you're like, I want to be in the driver's seat completely. Well, you are. But whose track are you on? Your own or the track of destiny to lead you to your, your destination, where you're supposed to go? Um, this is a little bit of wrangling going on there you can't know all ahead of time any more than to a point we can surmise um if visions come then that's great but sometimes we have to have the trust in the faith of a child being led by a parent that they know what's best for us sometimes we shouldn't question we should just follow that's the challenge that i'm hearing for some of you Leo's, all right. Um, also, your clairvoyance is going to be heightened this month as well. It's going to be some growth in that area for those of you that that have that gift. The advice is um, the wheel is more about doing as it is receiving. Enjoy, for heaven's sakes. Feel grateful for the good fortune that's going to come your way. And again, to reiterate one more time, go with the flow. Let destiny lead you. Keywords are fate and lock the unexpected. Movement, change, crossroads, and clairvoyance. Could be great things if you allow it. Your message from spirit, the Eight of Swords. We're looking at some restrictions here. For our own good is what I'm hearing. That's what it is. Um... There could be some change, and with the change, when it happens, you're going to be realizing there's restrictions in place. This could be job-related for a lot of you, or it could be projects that you thought that you were given the complete carte blanche on, um, right, to to do whatever in the freedom, and now the restrictions are locking in. Uh, same with some relationships as well. Some relationships are going into lockdown. Uh-oh. Heads are budding. Um, can't get to an agreement. I can't get to that, that middle ground somewhere um, with somebody in some kind of a relationship. Somebody's drawing the line and saying, don't cross that. Um, somebody else is removing the line and I'm hearing, what's your excuse now? There is no line. It's just what I heard. <laughs> um, but yeah, relationships on lockdown. One person isn't free to commit. Somebody else is bound by too much responsibility. If somebody's not free to commit, you need to move on. They're not the ones that are going to be left high and dry and alone. They have somebody. That's why they're not free to commit to you. 
if that's where your heart is moving. Um, and again, there's somebody else that's bound by too much responsibility. They don't have the time anymore to invest into into some kind of a relationship. They just don't have the time. This could go from, yes, romantic, right in to, through to parenthood, um, the giving of yourself in any way, not having any time anymore. That could be part of it. Um, the advice is to be in control of your future, but be realistic. Um, regardless of what others are even thinking of you or they're giving you their opinions or anything like that, free yourself by being less tolerant of other people, especially if you're the one that has, you're bound by so much responsibility, you don't have room for that stuff. People overwhelming you, wanting you to, you know, shaking the finger, um, wanting you to, to, to commit, to give, to give more, to take more. Don't, you don't have room or time for that in your life right now. You got to take care of that. Life will smooth down. You'll have a little more breathing space is what I'm seeing for you. Oh, that's better. I'm still busy, but at least I don't have that to deal with anymore. So your keywords are separation, fear, burdens, lack of vision, being stuck, responsibility, and change. And change seems to be the operative word here um, for this reading. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. I hope you liked it. I hope you took something from it. I hope it helped in some way. Okay. Um, for anybody else, if you're new, if you'd like to have a private reading, I do offer the service information for that. Look down below this video window and you see where it says show more. Click on that. It'll open up, read it through, grab my email and send me off an email and I get you taken care of. Um, also, if you're uh, new to the channel, um, and welcome to you and all current subscribers as well. Thank you so much. But we're also found on Facebook under groups, Pay a Funny Fortunes. And it is a closed and private group full of very like-minded individuals like myself and just like you. And yes, you are. Or you wouldn't be here in the first place, right? Right. Okay. Anybody else looking for me? If you don't find me right here in Bay of Funny Fortunes, you find me walking down below along the water's edge that hold the highest, mightiest tides on the whole planet. The beautiful and the bountiful Bay of Fun Day. Doesn't matter. I live on the bay here. You come looking for me, chances are you're going to always catch me waiting on the next high tide. Have a wonderful month, Leo. Leave yourself open to change. It could be a good thing, not a bad thing. It doesn't have to be. Hope you all have a really great March and hope to see you back here real soon. Goodbye for now.